Okay, so a quick video here uh, checking out this F7 flight controller. And I've had this for a while, and I think way back, uh, maybe a month or a month and a half ago, I posted a deal on this flight controller uh, from Bang. It was on promo sale. I think it was like around twenty or twenty-one dollars, pretty cheap uh, at the time. And I think the lowest price I've seen uh, for an F7 flight controller uh, right now is the regular price. I think it's thirty-two dollars for the regular price, but still. I think probably either the cheapest or one of the cheapest uh, F7 flight controllers I've seen out there. A uh, few guys know of one that is actually not a sale price but a regular price that's actually lower than $32. Uh, leave me a comment below. Um, I, I do like sharing my these deals and, and promo sales and you know whatever uh, not over on my Instagram. I post those once in a while. Uh, I, I usually don't keep them. Up. I, leave, I don't leave them up there for very long. Usually. Uh, Post them, leave them up for like a day or two, and then I delete them. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you can check up, catch up on some of the deals on some of these parts and stuff that I see here and there. I usually post them over there because um, uh, it's really, really hard to post like that kind of stuff on YouTube. So I've, it's easier to do that over on Instagram. Anyway, so talking about this flight controller, it's a 30 by 30 flight controller. This um, really the layout of this board really reminds me a lot of the look of the old Omnibus F3 flight control back in the day. It's got the holes here for the um, basically soldering all your wires. You got your motor connectors here as well. I think PWM uh, one through four uh, over here are the connectors for your OSD. Um, I'm just going to go ahead. I'll just put a diagram up here of the wiring um, layout because uh, none of these are silk screen on this one. I think it's for they're cutting some cost. Now this one does come with a, a wiring loom connector for your 4-in-1 ESC. So it does have, um, it takes a, a VBAT voltage and does have a current sensor line as well, as well as your, your four motor input lines. And uh, let's see here, this one uh, does come with the wiring loom if you want to use that with bare wires on the other side. I'm probably assuming that your 4-in-1 ESC is probably going to come with a similar connector. You can just plug that in there or you can use this for individual ESCs, however, however you want to wire it up. Um, this is included as well as uh, some nylon mounting standoffs hardware. It does come with the little grommets, the silicone grommets here for converting the M4 holes to M3 holes. Um, F7 flight controller, as I said, uh, F7 uh, uh, CPU there, so it's actually a uh, F722 chip, and uh, the bigger one. It does come with an ICM gyro. It's uh, actually the newest one of the uh, ICM 2689. So um, you can go up to 32K on that one. Uh, it is hard mounted to the board, but it does have the soft mounting here, but you probably would want some additional soft mounting in your flight stack as well, just to uh, reduce the vibration as much as possible. Um, just come with a little spectrum connector here for DSM. As you can see it's labeled DSM there. For those of you guys that have those plugs, this is one of those really rare boards that has that. So for you spectrum guys, that's there. USB port there, boot button there does come with an SD card slot for uh, your black box uh, recording, which is really nice. So uh, for for example, if you are uh, using this F7 with, say, uh, one of those 32-bit ESCs that can take the uh, firmware for the RPM filtering, having the um, black box recording on an SD card is going to be really useful for tuning to get those uh, filter settings exactly right on your setup. So I'll probably be using that on some sort of an RPM filter type of setup in a future video. Uh, if you're interested in that, uh, let me know and I'll uh, incorporate those questions answers in the follow-up video using this flight controller. Uh, some more specs on the flight controller. It has five UARTs. Um, obviously being an F7 you have to worry about the whole nightmare of inverted etc, inverted telemetry, all that stuff. This will handle that uh, and all the UARTs are against down in this section here. It's all labeled on that diagram that I showed you earlier. You got your LED, buzzer connections, etc. all those typical things um, that you would find on a normal uh, flight controller. So this is pretty much has all the things that you're going to need. One more, uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention, it does have a barometer on here, which is kind of unusual. So if you want to use this for, say, like uh, iNav on, an, on a fixed wing, this one is also a possible candidate for that. Uh, it does come with a 5 volt, 3 amp voltage regulator, so it should be able to help handle all of your peripherals, GPS, um, additional uh, you know receivers, all that kind of stuff, and maybe cameras should be fine 
uh, with this particular flight controller. So mainly I just want to show this because it's a really good price. I don't know who makes it. It's just like some off off brand, you know, uh, generic flight controller. And if you guys think this is a clone or something, let me know what you guys think it's a clone of. I couldn't find anything that looked really that similar. The only thing that's reminded me of is in the old Omnibus F3 30x30 flight controllers from way back in the day. It has this kind of a similar layout, but and that's it's got all the features you want in F7. You know, it's got the OSD, uh, SD card slots, nice big voltage regulator. Kind of wish it would have having like an 8 volt or 9 volt voltage regulator as well, but that's probably one downside that it doesn't have that. But it, of course, it has the lower price coming in at the around the thirty dollar mark. And uh, yeah, if this uh, comes on sale again in, in the twenty to twenty five dollar range, I will definitely post that up again on my Instagram because I think that. Uh, those of you guys that bought that and are using it are probably having a good time with this one. This one seems to be pretty good. I haven't heard any uh, horror stories on this one yet. Um, but yeah, it's been around for a while. And if you're looking for a really bargain basement F7 flight controller, definitely check this one out. Anyway, you guys, that's going to do it for this video. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.